Hello everyone, welcome to Rock My Cake, and we're going to make a template for a quarter sheet cake uh, that's uh, 11 by 8.1. So um, get ready and fire up your uh, graphic design uh, GIMP software that you can download at um, Google. Uh, just type in GIMP and it's going to give you uh, the website for GIMP uh, 2.6. Uh, I have uh, I have the, the GIMP 2.6. So if you get the newer version, uh, that's that's fine. If you had an older version, I don't know how it's gonna look. But um, the uh, GIMP it's pretty um, uh, basic and it's not as fancy as Photoshop, but it's definitely uh, it, it's definitely worth a try. And uh, if you're on a budget, uh, GIMP is definitely the way to go. And if you're into um, free software and um, open source, uh, definitely GIMP. Uh, it's your tool. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and create a um, a template for a quarter sheet. Um, so we're gonna go to file and create new. Um, here are some presets. We're not gonna use them, uh, but we're gonna make our own and we're gonna change this from pixels to inches. Um, if you think I'm going a little bit too fast, that's fine. Um, you can go ahead and stop the video whenever you uh, whenever you want and go ahead and try it in, in your own computer. Uh, or go ahead and try it. Uh, on your computer so uh, width it's we're gonna make this width uh, 11 and we're gonna put the height for eight and a half and uh, you see here that's got two uh, very useful um, um, icons here for a portrait or a landscape uh, we're choosing landscape this time so we're gonna go ahead and click OK uh, this is a uh, 72 PPI or DPI uh, Photoshop calls it DPI and it's an RGB color so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and uh, we're gonna create our margins. Our margins are very important because uh, the type of paper that we're using it has got uh, half an inch of slack uh, from from its uh, base paper so we're gonna go ahead and create uh, those margins which are very important we don't want to uh, uh, print over the uh, the paper itself, the edible paper itself. So we're going to go ahead and, and drag this down. Uh, this is our ruler here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we're going to go ahead and drag this down to half an inch. If you see on your left, uh, on your left, you're going to see uh, that I'm guiding myself with this little arrows here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and drag this down for half an inch. So half an inch will, will be number eight here. And do the same thing with here. Uh, drag it from the left to my right and drag it and hold it uh, and then just let it go um, I'm gonna put this in the middle and drag this and hold it and just let it go right in the middle so uh, now we're basically just gonna paste our image inside this box <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and, and find our picture uh, we're gonna go ahead and open Our picture documents you can have them in your desktop but now we have them in my pictures uh, I'm gonna choose a picture where's the funny guys here's some funny guys and we're gonna go ahead and open <clears throat> now if you see on the screen it's 11 uh, it's 1600 by 1200 um, we're gonna have to resize this of course click it it's it's gonna be under here um, we're gonna have to resize these guys. Uh, this is 1600 by 1200. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to image, and then we're gonna scale image. Two. We're gonna change it also to inches, and we're gonna make this 11 by 1.5. And we're gonna go ahead and leave it in cubic, and we're just gonna scale it down. We're gonna basically copy this image and paste it on our template. So we're gonna get we're gonna go to select, select all, and then edit, copy, and then we just click on our image on our template, and we're basically just gonna paste it here. So edit and paste. So there's our image. Um, to make it official and and make it visible here on our layers channels, um, we're gonna go ahead and say new layer uh, before um, I start um, messing around with this I'm gonna show you what these two boxes are here for this is the toolbox uh, this toolbox is kinda like um, 
well, it's very like um, Photoshop, and it's got the same icons almost. Not as not as a uh, uh, no, they're not the same exactly, uh, but they have the same functionalities as as the um, icons in Photoshop. And um, here we have our our layers uh, box, which is very very useful. This is uh, where you put all your images uh, and your text, and you're gonna be able to see them. If I click the eye and then I unclick it, we can see our our layers here and um, we go over uh, the toolbox here and basically have our um, rectangle selecting tool uh, our circle selecting tool and if this is this is this is what we're gonna use for the circles uh, in another tutorial but now uh, we're gonna use text um, and move this image around uh, but for now we need to um, resize this uh, image so it can be properly fit on our margins here so we're gonna resize it by selecting the scale tool we click it and then we click our image and uh, we're basically gonna just gonna drag this down to its place here and let it go and then click it again And let it go. Just press enter. So now we successfully uh, resized our image, but you see there's still some little slack here around here. Uh, there's a little slack here and to the top and to the left. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click this. Uh, this is the uh, moving tool. Uh, we can move this around with no problem. So we're going we can also use our arrows move it to the left and kind of center it now with our arrows I'm hitting my uh, left and, and down key so now we have our image uh, centered <clears throat> we're gonna add some text by clicking on the A click on the A uh, choose our font um, I'm gonna choose a very uh, basic font here and uh, this determine the size let's put uh, 36 size and uh, let's choose a color. Uh, let's choose yellow and do OK. So we click it where we want the font to be and we just type in happy birthday. And close. Now if we want to make this bigger, we can just uh, make it bigger here. You click it to maximize it. and uh, choose the selecting tool so we can move this around <clears throat> now we have uh, we've made our first image and it's ready to print uh, let's save this image as a quarter sheet put it save it's gonna be saved on my pictures just replace it um, now we're gonna print it so we go to file print and we're gonna choose our printer and the printer is gonna be the uh, for now it's the Canon uh, and we're gonna go ahead and choose the preferences for this printer and uh, remember that we're printing a landscape uh, orientation so we go ahead and click the landscape icon and say okay and just one copy standard uh, here you can choose the photo uh, paper um, depending on the type of printer that you have you can choose uh, the settings for for now we're going to use plain paper um, and standard quality uh, just fast quality that's fine for me but you should do standard and the photo whatever um, you can use inkjet this is this, this works beautifully for me sometimes or just paper but for now we're going to use paper uh, plain paper uh, and we're going to go ahead and click OK and we're gonna print so um, thank you for watching this tutorial I hope uh, I've made it clear um, if you uh, are having trouble with Photoshop or you're having trouble with software from vendors uh, this is a great way to uh, start printing your own uh, images edible um, frosting prints um, and, and it's very cheap and you can download it for free and until next time um,
to view more videos like this, go to rockmycake.com. And, um, oh, we have a problem here. Following paper has run out. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, remember that to also, uh, remember to always have a, a regular white paper so you can uh, print it before you load your actual edible paper there because uh, edible paper is not cheap and you want to print, print out um, uh, a few samples before you print the actual sheet. I hope you join us for next videos. Uh, we also have the circles and the eight inch and uh, business cards and all the fun, all the fun stuff. So uh, have a great day and thank you for watching.